Good morning. Abigail. You gotta go to school. Come on. This is what happens when you're up all night. Come on. Morning. Hi. Hi there. Hey, for real. Come on. Let's go. Time to get up. Come on. Oh, time to get out of bed. You just gonna slide off? <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to the vlog. Uh, Miss Pris here, she's exhausted. Aren't you, girl? Yes, I am. Oh, oh yeah, that one too. <laughs> Abigail was up all night long. Like, I heard her every 30 minutes in her room. Um, I even turned on her fairy lights for her so she could just hang out and play here. in her bedroom because she just wouldn't go to sleep. Hold on. Here you go, Abby. She is so tired. In fact, she can't even feed herself properly. She had milk pouring out of her mouth from her cereal. Okay, Mom's the official face wiper this morning. <laughs> Here you go. Put that in the trash. She's happy. A little bit of smiles. A little yeah. smiles. She's wanting to pass out her, her milk and cereal, but she's smiling. You ready for school? Okay, let's go. Here. Get your backpack. Where's the zipper? Here it is. Here you go. Backpack. Oh, don't work that out. I'll do it. So violent with chords. Here you go. Music. Words. There's your words. Here's your music. Leave your words on. She does not like leaving that thing no, on her. Not. Oh. Honey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you got it? Oh gosh. <sighs> Like a whole bag of lots of awareness you're taking there. I know. Headed to the post office. Lots of problem children this time. I know. We have address issues. Like seven people? Yeah. Gosh. Well, you get to ride with your new harness. Throw it in there. Good job. Okay, so this is a racing harness. And a few of you guys had the idea of a racing harness, and you suggested it to us, and I didn't find anything that worked right away. So, this is what we did. You see that? So everything's attached to the anchor point for like a car seat back there, just to keep her in. Now, the important part about this is this is not to secure her in, in the case of an accident. It's not what it's for. This is just to keep her butt in the seatbelt. The seatbelt, put your legs down. The seatbelt is what's gonna keep her safe in case of an accident, because that's that's its job. Seatbelts are attached to the chassis of the vehicle, where the harness is just attached to the seat. Check this out. Now, when mommy goes off road, oh my gosh. trying to avoid traffic, here, scoot up a little bit. Scoot your butt, it's comfy. And then we've got her Houdini clip that goes through all of it. And that locates the chest strap, the regular seatbelt chest strap, so that it stays in the right, right spot because she likes to pull it over her head. And they don't have to be very tight. Just snug enough. Keep her in her seat. Look at that. Look at you, you're super comfortable. <laughs> She's laughing. <laughs> Okay, we're ready for school. Do you love it? You can just sit in the seat like a big girl. So no more car have, seat. You're gonna have the links for the Houdini clip and the harness. And the harness, below, yeah. Right? Yeah, I take you know, if you got someone that's a little little crafty, someone that can put it together. I mean it's not very hard. I just clipped it to itself and then adjusted it correctly. Um, it's not very complicated at all. You could even hook it into, you know, the anchors that they have and down in the bottom of the seat, like for car seats, you could hook it in there if you wanted. Uh, there just wasn't enough, enough adjustment to get around her waist because she's itty bitty. 
So. And we, you bought, t we bought two of these. Two of them for like 35 bucks. So we're gonna put the other one in Isaiah's, in Isaiah's Jeep. Uh, cause she rides in the back seat there too. So I want, you know, want to make sure she's safe with you guys. Cause she listens to me better. And she rides in the front seat with me in the truck. So. Yeah. I love you. Yeah, I do. Mwah. Bye baby girl. Say bye. <laughs> you look like a rabbi. This is why I love Abby's school. Her therapist just sent an email wanting to know if it was okay if she brought Abby an Easter treat. Isn't that so sweet? They just think of everything. I love them. Okay. Bye, my love. Bye. Love you. Love you too. See you in a little bit. All right. Talk to you guys here while I'm assembling my coffee. Today, as, as most of you know, uh, we are shutting the shop down. Our motorcycle, ATV, and small engine repair shop. And we, we're kind of forced to, a little bit, part of its choice, but today is basically the last day uh, that we can be open, technically speaking. Now you guys have been awesome as far as like prying questions, you know, because we didn't give much detail as to why we had to shut the shop down when we announced that we were. Um, and, and I appreciate that, I really do, but I don't really mind telling you. It's not like it's any kind of a secret. So the city got involved and we had the fire marshal come through uh, about six months ago and did an inspection. And, and we did find the inspection. He wanted us to change a couple things, so we did that. Uh, but he said we didn't have a change of use for the address. Uh, the change of use basically uh, designates that this this building is being used for special purpose industrial. Uh, previously, it was a mercantile shop, and was, that's the use of it. So uh, we had to change it to special purpose industrial. So we had to hire an architect to come in, uh, draw the building plans, submit the building plans to the fire marshal's office, to the building code office, uh, have all that done. Uh, very technical, lots of things going on, lots of money. It would cost us thousands and thousands of dollars. And I looked into it and, and if, if our first proposal, our first drawing from the architect was denied, then um, we'd have to do it again. So this could cost us anywhere from 10 to say $50,000, who knows, uh, to have this completed. And it's not my building. It's not a building that I own, we rent that space. Uh, and I just, we've been fighting feels like for eight years, you know, um, owning a business, you always feel like you're fighting somebody or something or some government entity, and I'm tired of fighting it. Uh, there's no passion in it, and that's, that's a big part of it. You know, we have that passion uh, in the YouTube channel and everything that we do there. Fixing motorcycles and ATVs doesn't change the world for anybody. It doesn't make a, you know, a major impact. It's not anything that my family is going to be remembered for and then that's and I think that I don't know it's important to me it's important to me to make an impact in the world around me so that's why you know, that's why there's no passion in it there's passion in this just not that that's that's why it's not worth fighting for I'm kind of throwing in the towel I don't like doing that I feel like we're kind of giving up on things but it's something I'm okay with giving up on like it makes sense to me so today uh, the city could if they felt so inclined, they could come by and put a put a sign on the gate that says we can no longer do business out of that establishment. Um, and that's fine, we're, we're prepared for that. We're not completely moved out yet, we are still working out of there. Um, you know, we just, we can't take money across the counter if they do that, we can't do business out of there. So uh, we've got until the 14th, as far as renting the space, uh, the 14th of April, so we'll see. We'll see what, what happens, and we've got a couple weeks now of uh, just getting out of there completely and being done with it. So you guys will be along with us for the ride, and then in a couple weeks it'll be just full-time me and you doing this every day. Me and your face. Aren't you excited? Hello. Don't mind the way I look. I'm exhausted. Abby pulled an all-nighter last night, and it is now 6 o'clock, and I'm feeling it. <laughs> Can you guys tell what's different in this video right now? She's vlogging, I'm driving. Oh my lordy. How often does this happen? Like never. Like I don't know if I, I know what I'm doing behind the wheel and I don't know if you know what you're doing with the camera, so. <laughs> oh boy. This is unusual, everybody's comments how, how I, I always, you always drive and I always vlog. <laughs> It's because he's more comfortable with the camera and I'm more comfortable with the car. No, it's it's because I'm I'm more comfortable with the camera and you're more, more comfortable with you behind the wheel of the car. <laughs> but I have been sitting in traffic 
this entire week. Like I'm over, I'm over driving right now. I don't care what he does. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's not get out of control. <laughs> okay. So second time with the harness, right? With Abigail, with the racing harness? Well, third time. Cause I took her to school and home from third school. Third time. How'd it go? Awesome. Flawless? Yes. She didn't get out of it at all. She didn't fight it. Which she's tired. Right. So we'll have to get her on like a. She's wild. Yeah. But she she looked comfortable. She was very comfortable. She like had her feet up on the seat. We gotta show that picture you took of her. Oh my gosh, you're going way too fast for the curves. I'm good. You're fine. <laughs> Just keep vlogging. <laughs> I don't know that I can vlog while he drives. <laughs> we gotta show that picture of Abigail getting comfortable in her seat on on the way home. We'll put that right here. So we had something big happen at work today. Yep. It's official, guys. We are no longer an LLC. Well, we sent a letter to dissolve the LLC. Right. So. so it'll take a little bit, but there's no going back now. It's official. You have to pay. You have to pay for this service. You have to pay to open a business. You have to pay to, to close a business. It's, it's crazy. They just take money from you all the time. So that was my day I filled with calling all the people. All the people to cancel and the people to schedule and the yep. tire you know, pickup and, and waste oil disposal and and sales tax and, and electric company and the cable company and <laughs> so while we're getting on a plane to go to New York, our our all of our things will be getting turned off. <laughs> of you getting so much done today and me getting so much done today and just oh, we had a good day. We know? did. Getting, getting finalized on things and whatnot, getting a lot of stuff out of the shop. We're gonna we're gonna have a date night because we're exhausted. Priscilla doesn't want to cook. We have respite also for Abigail, so we're gonna go have a date night. Yeah, we, we have. We no, owe it to each other. I feel like. And it's just us. We have nobody here right now. Yeah. So we're just gonna go enjoy each other's company, and then go home and go to bed. Much needed. <laughs> Priscilla's nervous because we're parked on a hill. <laughs> she said our car is meant to be parked like this. I mean. Because we live in Florida. We don't have hills here. We have the only hill. We're parked on it right now. It's it's a little steep. <laughs> you had to put the parking brake on. Well, that's what you do. Wouldn't that be terrible, though, if our like parking brake let loose and the car went rolling into the, into into the, the river? river? Hello, children. Hello. Say hi. Hi, Abby. Say hi. Where's your sign for kiss? Golf cart? It's too late for the... Why aren't you in bed? We're supposed to be in bed. <laughs> Thank you for letting fault. us do a date night. Oh yeah, no problem. Do your sleeves all rolled up? Like you look like you're like a, a, a Wall Street trader with, after work. I need like a, a martini. A martini, yep. a cigar. Yep. <laughs> it's a good day. The, the frozen orange juice shares were up. <laughs> How was your day? Did you nap a lot? And shed a lot? Yeah. You're shedding like crazy, dude. There's my Spring sweet time. girl. <laughs> Can I have a kiss? Okay, said, well, yes. give me one. <laughs> yes, you can have one, Mom. <laughs> give me a kiss. <laughs> give me a kiss. <laughs> Thanks. You ready for bed? Yeah, you want to go to bed? No? Okay. You can hang out for a little bit since we just got home. Can you do a crib style? Yeah. Okay, all right, close the door, do a crib style. Guys, my name is Isaiah Moss, and this is the Fathering Autism Office. Nice cribs intro. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Here is the office space. Of course, we're gonna have it better lit than this. You know, more lighting, but it looks cool. Looks super cool. Like this, we got all our stuff. We got our shirts and our shelves and our little baskets full of thingies. And that's a standing desk, like a work top standing desk. And then we've got the sitting desk over there. We're gonna add a few more things in here. Like the futon is gonna go. And I think we're gonna do like shelving type stuff, kind of similar to that, yeah. but not quite that. Okay. Because that's gonna be for camera gear on this wall. That's gonna look cool. a sm it's not very big. I don't have a lot of camera here, but you know, 
a smaller shelf. And then, I don't know. I don't know what we'll do. I don't know what's, what we're going to do, but it's going to be awesome. We're going to get rid of that futon because I think it's terribly uncomfortable. It's horrible to sleep on. We talked about yep. that already. Okay, so this is where, we're, where we work. We've done a little bit of work here already, like packages up shirts and things like that. We got the, this is kind of mine. This is my standing desk, my, my work top here. Um, so this is how I make sunglasses with this soldering iron here with a puzzle piece tip on it. Pretty cool, huh? We got like packing material and scissors and tape all this exciting stuff nothing in that drawer yet guess what that one it's empty as well cool huh and this is all the shirts we have left that's it i'm gonna design a new shirt though that sounds cool yep i i'm gonna i'm gonna make a new shirt because i want to make a new shirt okay i just need some inspiration so why don't you draw something up for me i'll check it out okay will they be able to buy those shirts again later on yeah later yeah. on okay just this is all we have left of these mm -hmm. design shirts and then we're gonna do something different and then later on we'll it'll be like a limited limited edition shirt check this out this is fun <laughs> sunglasses okay what's the one thing that bugs you more than anything in like a, with a clean desk setup what do you see over here what do we got going on that's bothering you wires wires look at this ridiculousness that's that's it's not completely finished, so like I said, it's a work in progress. We've got to get that cleaned up. All right, guys, while well, I'm in the office, I'm actually editing the video that you're watching right now. Look at that. Um, I'm enjoying the office. I really am. It's nice. It's it's just what we wanted to work in. It kind of fits fits the, the bill for a space that we needed. But um, I just want to say that I appreciate you guys' support so very much. You know, we're, we're having this transition right now in our lives, and you guys are there for us, and uh, you always give us such great support, and we greatly Greatly appreciate it. Uh, but that's it for today. Uh, make sure you catch the next one. Uh, I think I'll do a little little zoo footage. Have you got to see some elephants? We'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. See you later. Bye. Abigail and I are headed to the zoo today. Look, you see them? Look, get up there. Look, you got to mark your elephant. We're going to mark off our elephant. Good job, Good job finding the elephant. So cute. Now what do you expect of your Abby? Abby, turn around and look at me. Hi. I'll get you and Miss Marina. Wow. <laughs> what do you think?